This is the best part of what I call a complete day with a complete meal. Bread pudding and that goes over sauce. Whiskey cream sauce. Ooh, this is what you call fine dining right here, I promise you. Thank y'all. You can see a little different surroundings. Uh, we're at the Blythe Ranch near White City, Kansas, cooking for some good friends of ours, certified Angus beef folks, and a food blogger tour. So we got the real deal here that me and you are putting out tonight. Cowboy ribeye, barbecue baked beans, mesquite butter corn on the cob, hominy and green chili, but the well, grand finale. My favorite dessert in the whole world. Something I didn't want to put in the cookbook, but you made me. It's still an Bread issue. pudding with a whiskey cream sauce, or as Chris Morton calls it, goes over. Goes over it, sauce. Because it goes over everything well. Along with chicken fried steak, this is probably your signature dish. I grew up eating some bread pudding that really wasn't all that great. Not that my mother and them couldn't cook. I just didn't like old stale bread and then scalded milk and a little sugar and raisin. Probably the biggest thing in there that gives it its great texture is what? The yeah. secret ingredient. I don't I don't think we should tell them yet. They have to wait. Let's, let's, let's make some bread pudding, shall okay. we? Okay. And the thing is, we're cooking for a big group today, so I'm not going to do it to the measurements that we're going to give you. So if you see me throwing in a bunch of stuff, that's why. Um, but I'm going to put a link at the bottom with the full recipe that'll that'll convert well for you guys, the original recipe. You'll see me step out because I'm going to do a little filming over here on the side. Is that oh, right? hey, can we also say though, like I forgot the, the tripod, so Kent manufactured a pretty ingenious tripod that you'll see a picture hey, of. It, it is was, good. Not only can you cook. Yes, right. don't let these clothes fool you. I got some MacGyverisms in me too, honey. I do. Okay. So, what do you got going in this bread pudding? So, we're doing egg, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg. I'm going to whisk this up just a tad to get this incorporated because then I'm going to add a little melted butter. And I'm just going to slowly put that in because I don't want it to scramble those eggs. Vanilla. You don't want to put all the milk right in. Do use about half at the beginning just to give it a little moisture. And then I'm going to whisk that in. And then I'm going to switch to a spoon. So get rid of your whisk. And we're gonna do the secret ingredient. Hamburger buns. You're just gonna wanna take the hamburger bun and you're just gonna make like little pinched off pieces, maybe like an inch or so, and just put them in there. And we're gonna go through about half of the buns before we start mashing them in. Zep, tell me how you came up with the secret ingredient here. Okay, first of all, see these little holes in there. Uh -huh. See them? See them little holes in them hamburger buns? What's that? Air. What does air do? Make things light and fluffy. When you start with an old bread, hey, you're soaking up all your moisture in that that's old bread. Traditionally, yes. a, a bread pudding is yes. an old biscuit. Yep. Hamburger bun has like a kind of unique, distinct yes, flavor. It does. They're real. I don't. I like them. They're real soft. And we put about half of them in for the recipe, and I'm. I kind of let them soak in there for a minute in that, and then I'm just gonna start tossing those in so that moisture coats it. So you don't want to sit here and mash and mash and mash until like it all disintegrates. And now I'm going to start just kind of like lightly mashing and breaking down some of them. I'm not going to go through and mash them all to non-existence. Go ahead and add more milk. And I'm going to start finishing up adding more of the buns in. You don't want to overcook this. I, it took me a long time to like not think, okay, this is kind of like supposed to cook like a cake or this is supposed to cook like a It cooks like a pudding. Yeah. It'll sort of be like a sponge is the texture really. Um, you just kind of want to cook it until it gets, um, it sets and it'll like spring back. It's spongy when you touch it. And then <laughs> I'll have to also apologize for if you guys are catching any wind. I didn't, I left my wind sock at home. So I can't manufacture that. I'm sorry. pretty worthless when it came to production no. on this too. It's like, this is what we're looking for. So it's this, this consistency right here. You can see how it's moist. Um, you'll even see like some of there's going to be some juice at the bottom. 
you'll see like how some of this is is mashed up but then we've still got some of these whole pieces add a little milk at the beginning add some hamburger buns a little more milk a little more hamburger buns and keep doing that until you get that that consistency we've seen i always taste it at this point and usually the only things that i'll adjust is cinnamon and nutmeg Really? Smooth. Really? Mm -hmm. Good enough. You're... Good enough. Make a nutmeg. Uh huh. Cause nutmeg. I like that. Overpowering. It can't, but I like that little pop of nutmeg. We're gonna pour it in a sixteen. We'll put it on some coals. Okay. We'll fire it up. Yes, ma'am. Now we're fixing to fire it up. Coals around the outside. Coals on top. We're sitting on a tall trivet, as you can see today, to give us that little extra amount of room versus this short trivet. So, coal placement is a little bit heavy as we go around this green grass because it's green, but also because we're sitting on a tall trivet. We will still rotate. The reason we're putting more coals on here because of the green grass is you're gonna lose some of that heat due to the green, which has got moisture in it, which is gonna try to kill that fire a little. We burned off a little piece before we started, but anytime you're in dry vegetation or green, make sure you have some kind of fire prevention with you. I got my little fire department here ready, so if this was to go, I'll be ready to go. Be careful out there. Right here, whiskey, cream, sugar, and butter. Ooh. If you got any left and you won't, save it for the next morning. You're gonna to wanna to pour it on your coffee. We're fixing to pour it on some bread pudding. It is good. Woo! You know, you wanna be careful. You put the butter in there first and just let it slowly melt, then pull it off. Let it cool just a minute, cause when you put that cream, you don't want it to separate. So when you get it over here to the edge after it's cooled a minute, pour that cream with constant stirring cause you don't got the butter and the sugar in there. Then we're going to put the whiskey in there. Now, I, I would ask you folks, don't use cheap whiskey. Get good whiskey, like Crown Royal, something like that. Pour that in there. They'll tell you, boil it till you boil it, the taste out of it, the alcohol. That's a lie. Get it warm, let it simmer, let's leave that whiskey in it, because that's the way it's supposed to be eat, I promise you. Chisholm's ride through much frontier travail So long 